Big test for Ajay Wilson, undefeated this year, Otto, but she's going to get pretty much the entire world thrown at her in this race. Yep, this set will be in lane seven from Australia. And there's Nakai, the world champion from Doha, training in the U.S. now, and another one who trains in the U.S., and why not? She's from Team USA, Raven Rogers. And I know after that sixth last year at the World, she wants to get back on the podium. Speaking of podium, here's somebody who, as I said, has been very consistent, only losing to a Thingmo in Tokyo at the Olympics and last year in Eugene, and ran her, her very hard to the line as well. The Jamaican Natoya Ghoul ran collegiately at LSU. All those collegians keeping an eye on the events in Austin, Texas this weekend. The NCAA Championships underway. Rala Roali of France, also in there. She's a 4x4 four four medalist for France. Yarago will have her own lane in three. Last week, she was a pace setter to a world record in Florence for Faith Kipyagon. Sage heard a clucker of the United States in lane two. And then rounding out the field here, here's Kandisun. Kandisunan. And Gazanova. They will both occupy lane one. But lots of quality in this field, as we said. Paul, women who have been world champions, women who know what it's like to be on the podium oh, at no, the no. highest level. Women's 800 meters in Paris. A little bit of enthusiasm out in lane number eight from one of the pace setters there is gave him an extra tick of the clock before they fired the gun. This is the outdoor opener for the 21 year old from Great Britain, Keeley Hodgkinson, twice a silver medalist in the last two global championships. They will all await as they move to the rail. The Polish athlete Wojciechowicz Zawatska who will be the pace setter through 400 meters being requested to run 57-4 for the opening lap. And the way that Hodgkinson looked indoors, setting several records, indicates to me that, yes, this is her opener, but I still expect a high quality run from her. She is now effectively the leader behind the pace setter and Natoya Ghoul of Jamaica has settled into second. Look at Ajay Wilson in third as they get the belt. And right on that prescribed time, so this will be a quick race. 57-35 with a lap to run. Hodgkinson maybe with a step or two on Ghoul and Wilson and Nakai, Sage Herder Klecker and Raven Rogers in tow. Wow, this is a nice move by Hodgkinson. This does not look like an opener for her outdoors at all because with just about 200 meters to go, she is gapping the field, and she looks the best of anybody left. Wow. Adding distance to the lead with every stride. The race for second now between Nakai Ghoul and Wilson. But as she comes off the final turn, Healy Hodgkinson, she owns the national record for Great Britain in this event, 155.88. This will be super quick outdoor opener, and it's a new lifetime best. So world lead for Keely Hodgkinson, British record, personal best, but more importantly, okay, so her chief rival, a thing Mo, looks to be more interested in the 1500 this year. Could this be Keely Hodgkinson's year to be world champion? That was a phenomenal run because she put away this field with over 200 meters to go. Look, there's nobody in the frame. This is the home stretch, but she had done so much work on the penultimate, on the last back stretch, that this was never really in doubt. So how do you do season opener and look at the reaction by the Olympic and world silver medalist She knows if she can keep this up. There's a lot more records coming and there may be a, a world championship gold in her future